Es gibt weiß Glossblüte. As you go on listening and contemplating, see for yourself how effortless it is for you to be yourself, which is the Ishwara, the God in you. Associating your nature, who you are, with the totality. Consciousness here, there, everywhere. And that is everywhere, with all names and forms, Ishwara. That Ishwara, the totality, when it embodies itself in one form, and gives the statement, Yomam Ajam Anadimja. Sarva Bhuta Maheshwaram, Vetti Bhuta Mahaloka Maheshwaram, Asamura Samartyesu, Sarva Papi Vimuchyate. Yoha Maam Ajam Anadim Vetti. One who knows me, the unborn, beginningless existence. Sarva Loka Maheshwaram. The master of this universe. Where creation and creator, one and the same. Such a person, Asamuda, Martyesu is the one free from delusion among the mortals. Sarva papei pramuchyate, sarva punyei pramuchyate, becomes free from both papa punya, right, wrong, good, bad. There is nothing other than itself. Being thus with yourself. Buddhi jnanam asamohaha kshama satyam Intelligence a knowledge of the highest kind, free from delusion, kindness, forgivingness, becomes a natural disposition of this wise man. Being with yourself, Happy with your own nature. No more there is search for security. Therefore, there is no competition, no struggle for possession. You are no more a competitor in the universe. You are happy with yourself, and whatever is, you are comfortable. Ananyas chindayantoma, 
ये जना परियुपासते तेशाम नित्य अभियुक्तानाम योगक्षेमम बहामियम एर्जुना for such people, Ananyas Chinta, as you know what alone is, Aham Yoga Kshemam Bahami, I carry their Yoga Kshama. They shall receive what is yet to be received. Whatever is to be protected shall be protected. Happy with yourself. Your attitude is not that you want something, but whatever comes, that is what you want in life. And therefore, no competition, no comparison. Happy with yourself, happy with everybody. Kshama. Satyam. Daya, kindness. Acceptance, forgiveness. It's a natural disposition. All because you are one with yourself, happy, contented, without any sense of insecurity, immortal, absolute. See that point, Shintiyam yoginah Isyantam navisura suravanah Devayatasmina must see these things and uh, more and more you observe, you are conscious, your life is full of innocent pleasure, always relaxed, kind, compassionate, sensitive, So look at your life throughout the day. Are you a relaxed, happy, contented person? Any time there is an agitation, 
attention, complicated emotion, that time you have lost sight of yourself. You know, you can take an example, very simple example. There is a, a string, a thread. If you are just pulling that thread, it just comes by itself, continuously coming into your hand. Suppose there is, as you are looking at it or you are bringing it to your unconscious, it gets tied down to your finger, and you take it away, it gets a knot. Then becomes such a knotty thing, it's a roll of thread which was coming all by itself. One knot somewhere it happened. Then to remove that knot, you put another knot. Something somewhere, it gets confused. Then the whole bundle becomes a knotty bundle, knotted up. You then cannot do it, you have to throw it as it is. Ask your life. You see for yourself. Whether at the beginning of the day, end of the day, middle of the day. Beginning of life, middle of life, end of life. Are you a complicated person or an innocent person? Innocence here does not mean the innocence of ignorance. It's the innocence of the wisdom. Very relaxed, uncomplicated. You don't complicate your life, you don't complicate somebody's life. Please understand, if you complicate somebody's life also, you'll be miserable. Because you consider yourself responsible for somebody's misery. Understand. For your sake, you don't exploit anybody. Understand? The moment you do that, if the other person is uncomfortable, unhappy, miserable, you shall feel uncomfortable. It is just like, whereas people don't do that, it's like a very crooked person takes away somebody's land, somebody's house, somebody's money, takes away somebody's bank balance, steals somebody's thing, but doesn't feel bad. And he can never be happy in life, because all the time he knows he's committing a mistake. So you do not complicate somebody's life. And when you do not complicate somebody's life, when your own life is not complicated, you will not complicate anybody's life. When you are complicated, you are miserable, you are complex, you are angry, shut-tempered, jealous, unhappy, insecure, you cannot resist complicating somebody's life. It will automatically flow from you. It will be a natural complication. That is why throughout the day you see for yourself. And that becomes throughout your life. For my sake, nobody must suffer. Why? I am happy with myself. Why should somebody be unhappy for my sake? In such an attitude, you become naturally a forgiving person. Daya, Kshama, compassion, Samadhama, automatically comes. Please look at your life because understand this, your behavior shall confirm your wisdom. Are you a happy person, uncomplicated, forgiving, kind, restful, relaxed? That 
that is you. Restlessness, agitation, complications, crookedness, deception, cheating, exploiting. These just don't go together. Look at your child, you will know it. Baby, the child will not tolerate somebody unhappy. It's so natural. Understand? Have you seen? Just see the animal behavior. Huh? Look, look at animal behavior. When the animal is hungry, cruel, which is hungry, he must eat. The lion, any animal for that matter. But when he has a full stomach, uh, all the deers, everybody will be hanging around, you will look at them. Hmm. Because it's full. You want to even look at them. Everybody is hanging around, no problem. But when he's hungry, uncomfortable, he must make himself comfortable. So who will make him comfortable? That one, jump. Exactly like that. Animal doesn't recognize it. When you are hungry for power, hungry for name, recognition, fame, wanting something which is not yours, think of it. Somebody has it, you don't have it cheating the person, manipulating the person. All these things will happen when there is an emptiness inside you. When you are happy with yourself, why are you complicating life? You are so beautiful. And that is divine qualities, noble qualities. So nice. Look at yourself. By chance, sometimes somewhere you are going a little missing it, going a little crazy once in a while, don't go too heavy on yourself. Laugh at yourself, how can I be so stupid? Okay. Then come back. Understand. And that becomes easier when you are aware of yourself because you are self is the source of that strength. Read that. Have all these qualifications. Buddhir Gyanam Asam Ovahe Kshama Satyam Damasamahe Sukham Dukham Babu Bhavahe Bhayam Cha Bhayam Ebache Ahimsa samata tushtihi Tapodhanam yasho yasahe Bhavanti bhava bhutanam Mattayeva prutagvidha We saw it yesterday. Buddhi, Viveka Buddhi, Jnanam, Absolute Knowledge, Asamoha, Preparam Delusion, Kshama, Forgiving Nature. Matta Yeva, Prithagvida, hey Arjuna, it comes from me. Meaning, when you are being with yourself, who you are, then your Buddhi will be absolutely clear. Your discrimination, your intelligence sharp, very clear thinking, absolutely clear sky, full sunshine, discrimination complete. And therefore, jnanam, knowledge also, effortless. And the most important knowledge comes from your being with yourself. And therefore, asam moha, there is no moha, no delusion of any kind because 
नो मोर आई टेक माई सेल टू बी व्हाट आई हाव आई नो हु आई आम अहम प्रत्यय गोचर द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड आई इवन द नेम ऑल्सो आई हाव देर फोर यू डोंट मीन आइडेंटिफाई विद द नेम आई what to talk of what the i identifies with are you getting that point please that is so simple relax watch out sit down see why they ask us to meditate why the tradition says so? why the gurus why the teachers why the tradition says so because when you are perceiving there is a unconscious restlessness you like a child you know oh so nice so beautiful oh a lovely thing nice here nice sound huh? nice touch nice smell nice taste oh, oh oh you know everybody extrovert jumping jumping jump not necessarily a criminal activity but you are so restless then complication suppose you say oh this flower is nice other person say, no no what is so nice about it huh? i tell you it is nice no, no. unnecessary <laughs> just think just think of it or the person sings well oh, what sings yeah, 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 like donkey huh? no dog like that it's a simple little perceptions complication begin then the thought reactions begins Because when you are don't know what you are talking, naturally what it means is you also don't know what you are thinking. Are you getting that point? When you don't know what you are talking, when you don't know what you are doing, that time you also don't know what you are thinking. That is why sit down. Hey, what am I doing? previously i was living like a child like a baby just speak do now i recognize there is a huge mechanism before it becomes speech there is a thought before the thought comes i am conscious so now which standpoint i am functioning in my life am i functioning from the standpoint of speech and action or am i functioning from the level of a thought or am functioning from the level of the self if i'm functioning from the level of the self all these qualities will be natural to you you understand that easiness of it. if you are functioning from this standpoint of the self you understand so sweet you become a baby balavat unmattavat charit when the scripture so nice balavat unmattavat charit the wise man moves like a balavat like a baby unmattavat like a madman madcap means what madcap has no motive no plans why the madman is smiling eh the bella je madcap hai looking at like now you if you look at somewhere why is smiling? are you nuts he is simply smiling why because ah, one mood has come over <laughs> no reason why is man is like that no reason always excited happy with himself what more greater excitement you need when people are happy they are excited this person is happiness itself there was full excitement always excited why oh everything is beautiful why everything is beautiful because mind is unoccupied a preoccupied mind will never be happy is a loaded mind do you understand this point a preoccupied mind will never be happy why already uh, there is a permanent load you are carrying a stone inside your head permanent load what is that she told me like that he talked to me like that why did he say like that why this happened it should not have happened one load now when you are permanently listening to one voice inside or a permanent load of a thought no no freshness in perception because it's not available Are you getting that? Look at the children, how they li- how they live, they live life. Now he is fighting with you, next moment smiling with you. But the child is yet not 
spoiled by that type of thinking. There is no, if the child, child doesn't hold on to the mood that passes. Adult means, now you are a master in holding on to the mood. <laughs> you know, he told me like that, finish. Rest of your life, rest of your life. You know, Swamiji, this fellow was asked, 20 years back he did this. Ah, give me a break. <laughs> Even yesterday he told me like that, now you should not carry a grudge. Why? Yesterday he was a different person, today he is a different person. That flexibility can you have? Or else you have got permanent pictures of people in the head. And especially what type of pictures? Dirty pictures. Dirty pictures means what? Angry, restless. You have already classified. That fellow, angry. This fellow, short tempered. This fellow, idiot. That fellow, you know, you have already decided. So you mean to say you don't see any good, good qualities in anybody? One day I took away your pain. But hundred days I have given you so many things. But you remember all the time you took my pain. Now what type of picture is there in your head? Are you getting that point? Ask that question. Please. Repeating the scripture is not wisdom. Living that knowledge. Living that knowledge. Even the Tepraga, the audio, I mean, video is the best student. He can repeat exactly everything as it is. With movements also. <laughs> A video camera will never become wise. Understand? You see for yourself. Kshama, then Satyam. Look, I see. What is Satyam? Yatha drushtasya, yatha srutasya cha, atmanu bhavasya, parabuddhi sankrantaye, tathayeva ucharyamana, vak satyam. That word, you shall always speak the truth. Speaking the truth means what? Yatha drushtam, yatha srutam. As you have seen, as you have heard. Do not complicate. Don't put little masala, spice. Do you know why our life is a problem? Because instead of telling, seeing myself as I am, I am putting little masala to the eye, adding a spice to the eye, and the spice that you add is mortal spices into immortal being. That is why miserable. Your living is a lie because you take yourself to be what you have and not who you are. It's masala. So that is not Satyam. If I see myself as I am, then the roles which are continuously changing and therefore Mithya will not touch me. See that? How beautiful. Ro understand. That the roles are Mithya is the Satyam of it. The truth of the false role is the role is false. If you recognize the falsehood of the roles, that is the truth of it. Meaning, it shall continuously pass and it shall be changing. So I see myself as I am. Suppose you try to present yourself as a young person always, it will be very difficult. Why? Because youth will pass, old age will come. Listen carefully. Same thing also your moods. Do you know what is your natural mood? The natural mood is happiness. Unnatural mood is unhappiness, misery, insecurity. You are telling a lie when you are insecure, miserable, unhappy. That is why you are not comfortable with it. If you hold on to the truth, that is yourself, always relaxed. That is why when you are relaxed mood, nobody tries to change that. <laughs> Do you ever get tired of relaxation? I don't know why am I feeling relaxed these days. <laughs> Will anybody feel? Will anybody complain? Or can I say, Swamiji, in this, this place, your ashram is useless. Why? Everybody is very relaxed here. Will anybody say that? No. But suppose what is it? Swamiji, why that student is always tense? What happened to him? You ask him. Why are you asking me? 
Definitely the teaching is not very tense. You should be always <laughs> you should be always tense. You must be full of tension. Eh? It will be so hard anybody touches you, his hard hand will break. Is it like that? Is the teaching? Eh? You understand that? Their flexibility. That is why water. Water is so soft. It can cut across the mountain. No, water cannot be cut. The softness of the wisdom is so hard. <laughs> the softness of the wisdom is so hard. It can cut across any emotion. If you are loving and, emo loving and innocent, even the worst fellow will surrender to you. Suppose somebody trying to cheat you. Oh, this is very nice. I think it's very nice. You don't need it. Suppose you say, oh, yeah, I don't need it to take it. The fellow will be wondering, huh? Can I have oh, this? You, uh, you have 100 rupees. What are you doing with that? I can use that. No? Okay, take it. Now, what will you do? Now, when you know you can get it by straight way asking, Will you try to be cheating anymore? Such a person? A Jain Buddhism story goes, Jain story goes, where one day there is a teacher living there and he had very few things inside his apartment. And he was sleeping. A night a thief comes. Nothing in that room, but whatever begging bowl and you know, nothing, he picks up and he takes. When he's taking it away, the guru, the, the person, oh, wakes up. Then what did they say? He says, brother, this fellow wakes up. Now he's going to run. The thief is going to now run. He said, no, 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 don't run. Please come, please come. You know, I'm sorry there is nothing for you to take from this room. But whatever little something you are taking, please, I'm giving you, take it and go so that nobody tells you that you stole. You take it and go. Now what will happen? The person changed. See the beauty of it. When it's, by asking you will get it, will you steal? That is how people change around a wise man. By asking you will get it. Why should you steal? <laughs> Just think of it. So satyam, that quality, that whole attitude is so beautiful. Where you see things as they are. To see things as they are, you must see yourself as you are. Therefore, see the body as the body, mind as the mind, thought as the thought, emotions as emotions, everything as it is. And that comes from the recognition of yourself. If you're advising people, see things as they are, how? Only when you see yourself as you are, you cannot escape seeing things as they are. Are you getting? That's why it's not an advice. You must see things as they are, be very objective. How? I know I should see things as, as, as it is, but how? Only when I see my things, see, th see myself as I am, happy with myself, Appa, now I am settled. Therefore, no more contender, no more fighting, exploiting, demanding, manipulating. Why? I'm happy. You cannot take away my happiness. If, I, if you can, if I'm, see, suppose I thought money is my happiness, if you touch my money, I'm very angry with you. If I say something uh, with me is my happiness, if you touch that something, I'll be very angry with you. But I now know nobody can take away my happiness. You can take away my... Anything you can take away from me, but I am still happy with myself. Even I will not be angry with God. Even if body goes also, it is natural, it has to go. Neither you are angry nor you are afraid. Why? 
Because this has to go. So to see things as it is, you must see yourself as you are. Then your acceptance of every limitation is so complete. That is why I ask yourself, why does your tension comes up in life, agitation comes in life? Because there is no acceptance of everything as it is. Listen carefully. Recognize a snake as a snake. Listen. Don't say, how can I accept somebody who is an idiot? How can I accept? Don't worry. Nobody expects you to accept an idiot. You see the snake as a snake. That this snake is venomous is not my problem. Listen carefully. That this snake is dangerous, that is how it is. I recognize it. But very consciously, happily, I stay away from it without my being frightened and tense. Same thing, there is a person, they have their limitation. The person is very lazy, ignorant, manipulative. That is how the person is. I will keep my distance, but there is no reason to hate the person. That tension, why is he like that? You don't create your tension for other person's sake. Are you getting that point, please? Nobody takes away your right to recognize the limitations somewhere. As much you recognize the limitations in other people, that much you recognize the limitation in yourself first. Ask yourself the question. Long before you, you know, you push a telescope and looking at people's mistake, or putting on a microscope and looking at people's mistake, now look at yourself very, very deeply, Clearly, whether you have certain limitation. If you have, you shall be very, very accepting. As much you accept your limitation, you shall accept other people's limitation. Look at the man's stupidity. Who is getting angry? The person who wants to manipulate other person, if he gets manipulated, gets angry. If he is succeeding in manipulation, he is smart. But if somebody manipulates, out manipulates, out maneuvers, now he is getting angry. Are you getting that? I want to cheat you. But if you cheat me in the process, I get very angry. How can you do that? Hey, you, whatever you try. You try to dominate over me. But when I try to dominate over you, you don't like it. Then why try to dominate over me? Why do you want to do that? This is what people don't see. You are happy with yourself. Accept everything as it is. Yet, use it for whatever worth. Satyam. To see things as it is, you must see it for yourself. And the best place to test it out is your husband, your wife, your child, your friend, the person with whom you are living with. Because with the strangers, you are always careful. Only with your own people, you lose your temper. Understand? It's like an unfamiliar way, you are very conscious. The unknown terrain, you are very conscious. Known terrain, oh! You go. Known people, you take them for granted that you make a mistake. Be conscious. Please. At no time you lose sight of your satyam. And, how, and therefore, damaha. So it naturally follows. Once you are seeing things as it is, damaha. What is damaha? You know that. Bahya indriya upasama. Bahya indriya upasama. If you don't understand it in Tattva Bodha, you are not going to understand it in Gita. Same word. Are you getting that? Dhamma. Bahya Indri Upasama. When the organs of action, sense organs, Bahya Indriyas, Upasama, they are in their own place. Meaning, there is no unconscious activity. You can look at yourself whole day. How many things you are conscious? And what all things are unconscious. 
Of course, you can never be conscious of your unconscious activities. Are you getting that? When you're unconscious, how are you becoming conscious of unconscious activity? <laughs> you, are, you are unconsciously going on, no? That is why, and you know, when are you unconscious? When somebody stops you from doing what you are doing and you flare up. That is your unconscious activity. Very clear taste. You know, you are doing what you want to do. Suppose you are talking non-stop. You don't know you are talking non-stop. You talk, da, 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 da. then somebody says, do you know what you are talking? I know what I am doing. Ah, ah, oh, oh, oh. Why, 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 are you, why are you in a short fuse? If you know what you are talking, why are you getting angry? It's so unconscious. The person will not know. <laughs> if you are a conscious person, you shall be continuously smiling. Why? You are consciously into the mischief. So when the fellow gets worked up, you feel comfortable. Uh, what I wanted, he got it. Very good. <laughs> now you know the other person is unconsciously, unconsciously functioning, unconsciously talking. So consciously now you say, do you know what you are doing? You get angry. When he gets angry, you are not frightened. You know, you expected that reaction. Uh -huh. So you are very conscious. I know what I am doing. You don't know. Without losing your calmness, <laughs> you are pointing it out. Because you are not scoring a point there for your happiness. That is why a teacher, the guru, the teacher is one who can point out anybody's weakness, I mean, a sort of weakness or uh, mistake. Why? Because he is not scoring a point there to try to be superior. No, for the other person's sake. Same as a friend, mutually, students to students. You are mutually respecting, helping each other. So by chance somebody points out a mistake for you, you don't get angry. That's true. Am I really talking too much? Yes. Don't worry about it. Don't feel offended, but you are talking a little too much. Consciously live your life. Right. Why are you reacting continuously? Which you don't know that you are doing. That is why Dhamma. And this Dhamma will be complete that at the level of the sense organs, organs of action, there will be restfulness if there is Shama. Shama is what? Antakaranasya Upasama. Antakaranasya. When you are conscious at the level of the thought. If you are unconscious at the level of the thought, your sense organs, organs of action, your physical movement will be uncontrolled. Your speech uncontrolled, your action also uncontrolled. Understand? What is the wrong if I am, my action is uncontrolled, my speech is uncontrolled? Consequences, you will have a headache. <laughs> You know, so many broken pieces, you have to continuously picking up the broken pieces. Your whole life is lost in picking up broken pieces. Because relationship broken, people broken, trust broken, everything finished in your life. Unconscious activity, please. When you are consciously doing it, by chance somebody points out a mistake. No, you should not be doing it. Thank you, Are I made a mistake. Friend. Please see that, please see that. Antakaranasya upasama. And when this antakaran upasama will take place, mattayeva prutak vida from me. When you are happy with yourself, when you are aware of yourself, antakarana upasama, that you are being conscious of every thought, effortless. Not that ignorant man is not conscious of his thought. He is unconsciously flowing with the thought. He is dealing with the thought. Because unless you are conscious of your thought, you cannot deal with your thought. But when you are being conscious, you are unconsciously flowing with it. The thought comes, activity takes place. Thought comes, speech takes place. That is why the ignorant person goes on telling, I am sorry, I am sorry, I should not have done that. If you feel you should not have done it, 
what does it mean when you are doing it you are not conscious understand i so say take the responsibility i know what i was doing is not to be done okay not to be done done to be done done very conscious some and that happens only for aware of yourself when you do that you don't create any unconscious chain reaction very nicely they say when you are writing a letter in the water as you write it is forgotten as you write it is gone no the water takes it over wise man's perception is like that as you perceive it is resolved in consciousness as the thought takes place it is resolved in consciousness no residue left out understand there is no residue you understand residue residue you understand residue means what is residue means you know uh abscess uh, okay is give an example okay let's take an example you you are eating food okay you are taking food as you take food complete assimilation then your body is healthy complete assimilation what is indigestion residue left the body could not assimilate everything therefore vomit diarrhea but when is complete assimilation no problem same thing every perception if you can assimilate as it is every situation as it is every thought as it is total assimilation you are happy with yourself residue is you don't know how to deal with a thought ask yourself a question can you deal with every thought and if you are with yourself there is no question of your not being able to deal with a thought because being with yourself is an universal solution the master key of the universe ah that's a lovely statement very cute that's very cute it's a master key of the universe with being with yourself you can touch every thought no thought is uncomplicated i mean no thought is complicated every thought you can handle every perception you can handle because you are being with yourself that is why all these things you shall see now from me everything comes dama sama also sukham dukham bhavo bhava sukham sukham allad 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 means a sense of joy and ecstasy that is permanent for the wise person a sense of ecstasy always happy with himself not aware of me dukham that also comes from me you see that <laughs> just like ordinary if you are the source of my sukham i say hello how are you will you come for dinner with me and he say yes i am very happy you say no i am unhappy so you become the source of sukham you also become source of dukham are you getting that same way also if being with myself is so much happiness if i lose sight of myself dukham so in any moment of, listen carefully therefore in any moment of dukham you are not losing sight of others you are losing sight of yourself now you get the point when you are missing somebody now you know that those days i was talking to you no when you are missing somebody you are not really missing somebody you are missing yourself that is why dukha any time you are unhappy you are missing yourself that is why wrong thoughts listen wrong thoughts means any thought that does not lead you to yourself brings dukham complicated thought confusing thought means what suppose somebody tells you your happiness is if you see red light listen carefully please see this example somebody tells you in meditation 
Your happiness is to see the red light. Now you are miserable. Why? The red light is not coming. So I am missing myself. Your happiness is sensation from the spine going on to your head. So you are waiting for the spine, it's more complicated now. Your happiness is you must chant for 20 hours or 200 hours. Very difficult. I don't know. You don't understand? Wrong thought. Takes you away from yourself. When somebody says, to be with yourself, no thought is needed. When you say, no thought is needed, which thought is your trouble? Huh? When you say, no thought is needed, which thought is your problem? A thought is needed for a particular action. You want to go to Tiruvannamalai? Yes. You should have the thought of the road to Tiruvannamalai. Needed. Oh, I don't have the thought. It will create a relative problem, not reaching there. But it will not create absolute problem because you are with yourself. Are you getting that? How functional this whole knowledge is? Every thought you should have for its own sake. If I have to go to Tirumanamalai, I should have Tirumanamalai thought. If I have to uh, read a book, I should know a language. If I want to eat a particular food, I should know how to cook. But that has nothing to do with my being myself. Therefore, relative thoughts, are you getting that? All the presence or absence of thoughts mean nothing to be with yourself. Samattayeva, sukham. Also dukham. If I am with myself, sukham. If I lose myself, dukham. So any moment of unhappiness, you are missing yourself. You are not missing somebody. So when you are Missing something, listen carefully. Now, previously, oh yo, it is so cute. Previously, when I was missing something, I will struggle to get that. Now I know when I am missing something, in reality I am only missing myself, so be myself. Then what happens? My, the, no more I have any obsession for the object, therefore the Unconscious hold of the object on me is gone. With I created that the I created that obsession for the object. Therefore, as though the object had a hold on me. But now I am happy with myself. Think of it. What is his name? Tulsidas. Bilva Mangala. What happened? They are so obsessed with their wives. Eh? Man or woman doesn't matter. You take for yourself. Eh? Take that example. A man is so obsessed with a woman. The lover is so obsessed with the beloved. The husband is so obsessed with the wife. Or the woman is so obsessed with the man. Just take any example. See how the turning points have come in people's lives. And what the woman says? The type of obsession that you have towards me, a little bit of it towards God, you'll be a better person. Tulsidas ran. Bilva Mangala ran. Because they felt so humiliated, offended. Then they discover what? What I was really missing is myself. I was thinking my wife is the source of my happiness. What a mistake. Now the wife helped him to be enlightened. See? With whom you are obsessed. Are you getting that? With whom you are obsessed. If he or she says, what is this? You be happy with yourself. A little bit attention to yourself or God, life will be better. And what do you say? Wow, stupid I am. Okay, I go back to myself. Then she becomes your guru. You don't hate your wife. Thereafter you, you worship her. Why? Only because of her. You today you are like this. Whoever points out your mistake, consider them as your guru. Not your enemy. Are you getting that? Whoever points out your mistake, respect that person. Love that person more. Why? Without that person pointing it out, I won't be what I am today. 
understand. So any moment of dukkham, you are losing sight of yourself. So more unhappy you are, more away you are from yourself. You are unconscious. Are you getting that point, please? So do not ever hold people responsible for your misery, things responsible for your misery. Inconvenience, yes. You can hold somebody, somebody you can hold somebody responsible for your inconvenience. You are going on the road, somebody standing in front of you. And again, I am very happy. What is that? He is not, he is not making you unhappy. He is making you inconvenient. The weather is very hot. Shall that weather may make me unhappy or uncomfortable? The weather makes me uncomfortable. But I am happily uncomfortable. Happily inconvenienced. Do you understand that point? This, you know, these are unusual statements. The average person will find it very difficult. How can I be happy with my fever? Yeah, fever is physical heat temperature. Body temperature goes up in inconvenience, but very happy. Why? Nothing touches me. Happy with myself, but little inconvenienced. Understand? Anyway, any moment of dukkham, matta eva, here is from me alone. Why? Losing sight of myself. Okay? Matta va dukkham, sukham dukkham, bhavo vava, bhavam, udbhava, avava, viparyaya. From me, everything comes. In me also, everything is resolved. Every thought begins in me. Every thought resolves in me. If every thought resolves in me, every action also begins in consciousness, resolves in consciousness. Because there is no other substratum other than the consciousness awareness. That is why, are you conscious? Ask yourself the question. Is so beautiful, so beautiful. Long before you lose yourself in the perceptible universe, look at your thoughts. Long before you lose yourself in your thoughts, be yourself consciousness. Then you see every thought appears, disappears. If you see, listen carefully, if you see the arrival of every person in this house, it clearly establishes that you precede everybody. If you see everybody coming into this room, that means you are here before they came because you saw their arrival. If you see everybody's departure, that means you survive. You, you are there left behind even after they go. If you see the arrival of every thought. You must be there before the thoughts come. Consciousness. If you see the departure of every thought, every mood, thoughts have disappeared. You survive. Are you in touch with yourself? Yomam ajam anadim vyatti. This is ajam anadi. You are unborn, beginningless. Thought, beginning, burn. Actions, beginning, burn. Oof, you understand that? Ajam anadi, no? Huh? It's not something mysterious somewhere. Yourself. Ajam anadim. Yeah, vyatti. Whoever knows it. That is yourself. From which? Bhava, Abhava. Every thought is born, every thought disappears. Every speech is born, every speech disappears. 
your every speech are you aware do you speak or uncontrolled speech do you act or uncontrolled act ask yourself you understand when you enjoy the beauty of controlled speech and controlled action meaning very conscious action and very conscious speech you are so uncomplicated life you know that you never get into complication because you know where to stop are you getting that because you are conscious but other person is unconscious so when other person is unconscious watch out suppose you have a friend think up you have a friend you are very conscious and the other person is ignorant doesn't know much things eh yeah, that is how we come across in life no you may be conscious that doesn't mean everybody is conscious so he was a very nice person and he enjoy joke let's say he enjoy joke so you are talking him every type of joke every type of joke and you could play with the person even enjoying the joke everything laughing joking everything then one day you tell a joke and the person doesn't like it you thought the person will take it what it is but suddenly the person reacts how can you tell that type of joke the moment he resists what do you know uh uh okay thank you all right you change the whole joke and go away why because the person is not willing to share instead of arguing huh? so far you shared the joke and now you are telling na if you do like that it look further complicate the situation are you getting that if you are are you getting the point if you are going with the flow there is no problem you are laughing with my joke laugh the moment i see resistance okay no more speak now again you are ready to smile i smile i tell my joke i don't tell huh? one time you are smiling and now you are talking like that. Hey, why are you creating problem for him he is unconscious you to unconscious person if you point out his mistake you create a problem not solution <laughs> getting that point so don't don't try to show your consciousness in relation to unconscious people when the other person is unconscious if you point out the fellow will be angry that is why you know do i will the person listen to me if i point out the mistake no then don't talk that is why you don't try to be a teacher for everybody for what are you a student yes then i will teach if you are not a student why should i worry how does it matter to me you do you go and hang yourself who cares <laughs> why should i take care <laughs> for what <laughs> is so beautiful bhavam bhayam bhaya bhava abhava everything you know the arrival as a departure bhayam cha abhayam eva cha i am abhayam total fearlessness why dwayad bhai bhayam bhavati any time you give a statement if you say i am afraid next question is of what <laughs> second thing must exist no suppose somebody say i am afraid of what i am afraid are you afraid of what <laughs> there must be second thing when you are with yourself there is no second thing afraid of what okay if you are afraid of a thought why because it as though makes you to lose sight of yourself therefore fear but if you are with yourself and you know you can never lose sight of yourself no thought you are frightened of and therefore no action you are frightened of no engagement you are frightened of no involvement you are frightened of because you are happy with yourself it is like a man anchored on the shore cruising in the sea, in the river anchored on the shore you are cruising in the river you have absolutely no problem why any time you can come back like in a mother ship you are connected to mother ship <laughs> in a uh, uh, few years almost 15 20 years back i been to barbados in west indies they had brought this new submarine 16 seater only for tourists so you go in under the earth under the what is that uh, ocean first it will take you 
then they take four or five kilometers or more than that, 10, 15 kilometers inside the sea. Then you get into the submarine and it goes down. down. First time when I went, I said, yo, yo, a small thing, by chance something happens. How does it get air and other things, you know? You remember 20 years back, I was also young. I said, what is by chance something happens? No light, no air, or yo, who wants to? Then I, before I asked that man, I said, oh, very good, as though I'm afraid, not fear, you know. I said, suppose uh, the air, air cuts off. He said, no, 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 no. <laughs> nothing, nothing will cut off. Everything is fine. Pressurized, everything, nothing will happen. Don't worry. And there is a mothership. In case any problem comes, electrical, or any such problem comes up, immediately there is a signal and it will take us up. And we are going only 120 feet. Nothing to worry. So, how do you feel? Oh, why? Connected to mothership. So, if you are connected to yourself, and thereafter, go on thinking, go on seeing, hearing, testing, touching, involvement, engagement, or not to involvement. Why? Mothership. <laughs> you are always with yourself. You know how to come to safety, because you are always in safety. How does the, you, you don't have to observe babies. How does the baby play hang around? The baby will be going around, but looking at the mama and going around. Where is the mother? Look at this, uh, our peacock babies. You saw that? Poor things. They must have seen the mummy is there, but some fellow takes this, uh, human beings, rascals, what can you do? Rogues. They steal everything. No child will leave the mother. They know the mother is there, the children will be hanging around there. And they know immediately they jump there. Look at the puppies. Look at the kittens. Every babies. They will be hanging around, but then mommy is around. Same thing. Your thoughts are your puppies. <laughs> mommy is always there, consciousness. You are the consciousness. All activities, all speeches are your children. Be the mama. Always in safety, always with yourself. There was no bhaya, no fear. And if you forget yourself, when the children don't see the mummy, they start crying. Why? The babies don't see the mother, they'll go restless. Your restlessness comes from forgetfulness of yourself. When you are happy with yourself, consciously, what should you do? can engage yourself in any activity. That is why na papam, na punyam, na graga, na dvesha, na good, na bad, no nothing. Apichet sudurachar, bhajate maamana nivak, sadhureva samantabhya, samyak bevasita oisha, chipram bhavati dharmatma. Always bring that. It doesn't give a sanction for your stupidity. But by chance somebody somewhere takes a wrong step, don't worry about it. Still is a sadhu reva samantabhya because abides in himself. Kshipram bhavati dharmatma. Very quickly, he is abiding in himself. No unconscious false step anymore. But by chance that is there, so what? Give that chance to the person. It is where so kshama, forgiving, accepting everything as it is. Anyway, bhayam cha, abhame eva cha, fear and fearlessness. When I see it comes, then ahimsa samata tushtihi tapodanam yasu, ahimsa, ahimsa means what? Apida praninam, praninam apida, ahimsa. Ahimsa, you do not torture anybody, and that anybody includes you also somebody. Ah. Ahinsa does not mean not inconveniencing anybody, but inconveniencing yourself. No. If you are inconveniencing yourself, that also is hinsa. That is not ahinsa. Are you getting that? That's very, very important. But what people, our idea of ahinsa is what? Don't kill an animal thing. Eh? Don't hurt an animal, but hurt human beings, right? You can see, especially, you know, I don't want to be critical, but in Western countries, if you see, if a cat run over, the, the global press will come forward. Cat run over. 
thousands of cows slaughtered. I mean, you don't understand, really you don't understand the psyche of it. A cat, in England you touch a dog, you can be queen of England, they will haul you up in a court. The whole country will hate her. With the dogs are so precious. Huh? You want to be born as a dog in England? You are a lucky fellow. <laughs> With dogs in England, oh boy, they are really pampered, pampered. I'm happy our... Uh, what is this boy? Shiva has got back his necklace. You brought one necklace for him, huh? So sweet. <laughs> Very cute. He looks nice, but some fellow will just steal it. Anyway. Think of it. When dog is hot, everybody talks about it. Billionth chicken advertisement comes where? McDonald's. Or the, what is that? Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. The billion the chicken killed. What an achievement. <laughs> billion the pig is slaughtered. No heart melts. But the dog, you throw a stone, they'll show you. I don't know how. God only knows really. Eh? Okay. Non-violence. It's a violence. So, dogs should not be tortured, but children can be abused. Adult can be hit. So, hinsa means only physical. Verbal abuse? What about verbal abuse? With words, offensive words. Only verbal abuse. What about emotional abuse? What is emotional abuse? You are more powerful. You are the father. The other one is child. You are a husband. The other one is wife. Or a woman is more powerful than the man. Any emotion. Suppose the woman knows the man is dependent on her for emotion. Even the woman can thoroughly exploit the man. As if the man knows the woman is dependent on him for the money or for little attention, the man can abuse also emotionally. Invisible. Are you getting that? Those abuses are invisible. Nobody sees. We both are going together. So everybody thinks we are very friendly. But I have got clear instruction. Don't go one step ahead of me. Stay back. So everybody thinks we are very nice people. But you are a slave. You can't overtake by one step. This is abuse. Do you know when you stop all this? When you are so happy and secured in yourself. Everybody, it doesn't matter. Children will go around you, grow around you. People grow around you. People grow around a grown-up person. Nobody can grow around a retarded person. When you are spiritually retarded, emotionally retarded, intellectually retarded, so many conditions apply, you shall put people into prison, into prison of emotions. Understand? Prisons are various, various types of thoughts. They shall be prisoners of ideas, prisoners of thoughts. If you are happy with yourself, free with yourself, other person will be equally free. Others around me, this should not be done, that should not be done, don't do this, don't do this. That is why these don't do and do's, you know, especially it's in ashrams, you know, don't do this, don't do this. Hey, everybody's an adult. Let them decide. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. How long can you talk? But some people, of course, needs that also. So by chance somebody needs it. Tell the person nicely, no problem. Everywhere, whether it's a home or a house, School, college, university, everywhere. The best thing is, as I told, teach by demonstration. Animals never give a discourse to teach. The mummy, the eagles, the cheetah, all the animals teach by demonstration to their children. Only human beings try to teach by lecture. Don't, uh, don't smoke, 
But the papa is with just bidi in the mouth. <laughs> Don't drink. Uh, the fellow is drunk. He should have very stable relationship. Himself totally unstable. The father with an unstable relationship, mama, mother with an unstable relationship, what shall you talk about the stable relationship to children? How? How? The father's heart is broken to pieces, mother's heart is broken to pieces. So when the children's heart broken to pieces, what shall you say? Normal baby, normal, that is how it is. Hearts will be breaking. Why? My heart is broken, your heart is broken. Come on, let us sit down and cry together. Hold your hand. <laughs> Why everybody is sympathetic about everybody else's problem? Because my life is problem. Your life is also a problem. Okay, hold each other and cry. And you are not supposed to smile there. If you are supposed to smile, you are a criminal. Why? Everybody is crying. How can you smile? True. <laughs> Teach by demonstration, happiness. And especially if you are a teacher of this self-knowledge, understanding of yourself, it must be so clean, so clear. Appreciate. Ahinsa, when it's ahinsa, no more hurting, not only others, including yourself. Don't hurt your body. Don't hurt your mind. Because, listen friends, if you feel hurt, you cannot stop hurting people. Take it like a jewel. If you feel hurt, you cannot stop hurting people. Try. Who explodes? The person who feels hurt inside. If it, I don't feel hurt, you say, Swamiji, you are a real rascal. Thank you. So sweet. Nobody calls me. At least you call me rascal. No? So cute you are. <laughs> now what do you do with that type of fellow? You are such a, oh, an idiot. Yeah, that's true. Must be. Must be. Like, huh, how lovely the stories are when Sri Vasya, the Rishi, is sent to find out which God is best God. Just a story, huh? all gods are wonderful. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahishwara, Ella, Unuda. Everybody is one and the same. But to teach people, he goes to Brahma, and Brahma is sitting down with Saraswati, his wife, he says, and he doesn't get up. He says, What type of person you are not getting up? A sage has come, get up. And Brahma gets so angry, he wants to punish. He runs for life. Story. As the Brahma cannot catch up, the story. Then he goes to Shiva. Shiva also with Parvati. And then he says, what is this? I am here and you are a real womanizer. You know, sort of so stuck on your woman. You are half of your body you have given to the woman. You can never live without. Now you don't talk nonsense to Shiva. The third eye is going to open now. Electricity is going to come. He is going to the light. He is going to burn him down. Before he gets burnt, he runs. Story. Eh? Not that if Shiva is really angry, can he escape? Eh? It's a story. So he goes there, he runs away, then goes to Vishnu. And Vishnu also, he says, he, he says, all these gods are stuck on their woman. Huh? He's not, you know, he's sitting down with Lakshmi, not even getting up. He goes and hits him. With, that, with his feet, he kicks Vishnu. You don't get up, you don't know how to respect sages. And you know what Vishnu does? Doesn't send a chakra to kill him. Catches hold of his feet. All says, you know, it must have hurt you terribly. But they say, I'm so hard-hearted. I don't listen to anybody's prayer. It's like a stone and you have hit it. It must have been pained. So when somebody says, you are an idiot, he says, must be. I'm so insensitive to your needs. I must have an idiot. Who can touch you? When somebody points out your mistake, you consider it as a compliment. How sweet. Ahimsa. Are you getting that? This is Ahimsa. Ahimsa is not uh, you know, keeping the dog and eating the cow. 
Ahinsa is, uh, is not, you know, very, very, uh, you know, vegetarian, very holy, very vegetarian, but all non-vegetarian behavior, you're angry with everybody, talking with everybody, backbiting everybody, gossiping with everybody, you know. Or Ahinsa is not sitting down in the cave or in a very lonely place, but inside thinking all nonsense about everybody. Understand? Kaya, Vak, Manaha. In either the level of the body, in your speech, as well as thought. You don't hurt anybody, including yourself. You don't inconvenience anybody. But why should you torture your body? That is also violence against your body. No innocent person must be tortured. Is it okay? This is a good statement. No innocent person must be tortured. You discover the whole universe is innocent, body is innocent, sense organs innocent, thoughts are innocent. I am the crook. If I have to punish, only I, individuality, punish. How do the punishment of the individuality? Resolve him in Ishwara. Finished. The best punishment for the crook is give him infinity. Do you know what is the best punishment for the drunkard? Remove his habit. <laughs> because he enjoys that, no? Enjoys drinking. So if you take away, you want to punish him? Change his habit. That is the best punishment. It's not a reward, huh? it's a punishment. Because he, he was enjoying that. What is the best punishment for the hunger? Removing it. If the fellow was enjoying his presence, <laughs> dealing with everybody. Now he says, oh my God, that is useless. That has to be given up. So that was punishing everybody. And that is how I was enjoying power. No hinsa. When you are not there, against whom you shall be planning, scheming, whom shall you hurt? Right. And when you are not there, your presence is love. You can't, don't say, if he's not there, he doesn't hurt anybody, but you won't love anybody also. No. When you are not there, you cannot hurt anybody, but your presence itself is love. Why? Acceptance of everything as it is. I don't have to, are you getting that? I don't have to love you, but I should not hate you. When you don't hate anybody, enough. Please don't give me happiness. Don't give me unhappiness. Good enough. Don't give me any help, but don't cause inconvenience. Will you please? You understand? Same thing. You don't have to give happiness to anybody, but don't cause unhappiness. Oh. I am sir. Naturally it comes. And from there, Samatha, we shall see in the afternoon. Okay, Samatha. This is anything. This is the only two, few two verses in the 10th chapter which will take some time. Rest of it, I am the tree, I am the monkey, so no problem. <laughs> so you can go through it just like that. Vibhuti of the glory, and uh, so sweet. Because once you know that, if God is there, then will you like to, will you mind listening to His glory? Never. Why? His glory is my glory. He says, I am, I am everything. I am happy. Why? He is me also. Suppose when He says, I am, I stand apart, Will I enjoy it? Huh. All of you, listen carefully. I say, all of you are invited for the feast, except you. What happens? That person who is not allowed, what will happen? Miserable, no? Everybody is divine, except this. Or, only followers of these religions are divine. Everybody else is a rogue. What? <laughs> are you getting that? <laughs> these believers are divine. Others are rogue. Believers in God is divine. Non-believers in God are useless. Who said that? Did God say that? Why are you becoming agent of God and dividing people? A non-believer is equally wonderful. If he doesn't believe, so what? How does it matter? 
because he is punishing himself. When he doesn't believe in God, what it means? He doesn't believe in himself. But your trouble is a person is not non-believer in God, non-believer in my God. Oh, much more dangerous. Ishwara, <laughs> we shall see that. Ahinsa, samata, tushti, samata. Sameness will come. Samata, sameness. Nobody superior, nobody inferior. Samammi sarvabhutesu. E Arjuna, Name dvishyasti name samoham sarvabhutesu. I am the same in all the beings. Name dvishyasti name priya. There is nobody liked or disliked. Nobody inferior, superior. Everybody is same. We shall you say, with this tradition, can somebody say inferior, superior, touchable, untouchable? Huh. Can you act? Take this much of freedom. To do that, you must be yourself. We'll see in the afternoon. Okay? Close your eyes. The most important thing is see that in every moment of your life. This knowledge comes into manifestation. Every perception, every thought is touched by this wisdom that you are.